it took quite a bit of work to go ahead and find that information for a data set. And it actually can be a lot easier than that. So if we go to back to Excel stat and go to describing data and choose descriptive statistics, we just need to provide it a column of data. So that's column A is where our data is. This has to be checked because it has a label, uh, time at the hospital. And hit OK. It's going to verify that we want to do it. Yep. It's going to think for a second and then produce this. What this is is a whole bunch of information about our data set. It doesn't display very well here, so I'm just going to resize that. And then these default to whole numbers. So it is better if you kind of take these values and then under home, you can add um, decimals. So tell it to show decimal values. So let's do that for those, like a little easier to see. Um, so the mean that we calculated is 1.89. That's exactly what we had calculated. Great. Um, then it's going to do the standard deviation. That's exactly what we get calculated. But if you come down here, upper and lower bound of 95% confidence interval, that is also what we calculated. So that's exactly what we got by coming up with um, our standard error and then adding it or subtracting it from the mean. So in this method, we're able to go ahead and get all that information without having to um, do it on our own. And I did that using Excel stat. Right. So if the question would, was would give a 95% confidence interval for the mean, um, it's that range.